basically so going. Um, you want to do a quick talk about the deck? Awesome. So this is a hot pile of garbage. Um, <laughs> essentially, what we're using is, as you can see, as foretold. Uh, oh, there. You need to slide it over so we can see the electro dominance of the yeah. finale of promise. Um, yeah, there we go. So it's using Azertold Electro Dominance to cast uh, free spells such as Wheel of Fate, Ancestral Vision, and Lotus Bloom uh, to generate either card advantage or mana. Um, Finale of Promise also works with these spells, plus some of the instants that you see like Surgical Extraction, Opt, and Manamorphose. Um, and you can use that to also recast because it says without paying their mana costs. Um, you just have to target, the, the X has to equal their CMC. So you're not actually paying mana, so you get to cheat them from your graveyard. That's dope. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, also, Finale of Promise is really sweet, as well as Electro Dominance, because they cast the spells. So they trigger your Aria of Flame, they trigger Thousand Year Storm, um, th that's the main interactions, but they, they do actually cast the spells. Um, and the big win conditions in this are Aria of Flame, just, you know, we're casting Finale of Pro or Electro Dominance and Ancestral Visions, that's two triggers, you draw more cards off the Visions, you cast more spells like Manamorphose and Opt, more triggers, you start shooting them down. Thousand Year Storm is a very interesting kill condition because it's how you can use it to chain off a pile of spells once it's in play, and then target your opponent with about 20 or so Ancestral Visions and force them to draw their entire deck. <laughs> Uh, you can also be really cute, and you can cast a bunch of spells and then surgical extract their entire graveyard. Which I don't know. Then the, exiles their entire deck. Yeah, like, to be fair, the card's there to be really cute, and I love the card, and I wanted to just see So if we on win one game with it... Oh, like, yeah, if we win a game with it, this is a complete success. Okay. But that's the basic synopsis of the deck. It's a generally... It's it's essentially a storm deck that doesn't really use the graveyard outside of Finale of Promise. Okay. Um a quick aside for the sideboard, you can see there's four Crashing Football Falls, two Chandra Awakened Infernos, and four Goblin Dark Dwellers. If they're trying to screw with our Aria of Flames and Thousand Year Storm game plan, we can just side into making a pile of four fours. Okay. And then Chandra Awakened Inferno is just very good against decks with counter spells. Oh. Yeah. Just, and then we got some artifact interaction yep. here. A little bounce bit things. of graveyard hate on mm. top of our surgicals. Yep. And then a braid, because it's just a good card. Yep. So, and that, that is that. So we can jump right into a queue and yep. burn a uh, hundred plates. Not, not doing that again. Not doing oh, ooh, that would have been, that'd be, that'd be a real surprise, you know? Expect why to draw some thousand year storms and then suddenly you're... Uh, oh, that's why. It came in as a... Oh, freeform deck? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why the Wheel of Fortunes were there. <laughs> There All we right. go. There we go. And it has been set as the deck for. Okay, this is Modern League. That's the deck. Okay. I'm going to double check. <laughs> <laughs> to reply to you, Big Monkey, I feel like Dredge shouldn't exist in Modern either. I think Dredge is a deck that in all he of the He doesn't formats... think it should exist. He, he thinks it does should exist. He, he says it shouldn't be any faster than that. Oh, I, I know. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's like kind of a weird metric, right? Because I think Dredge as a mechanic should be deleted. Um, I don't know, like, that's just how I feel. Like, I don't think it should exist in Vintage and Legacy or Modern. Like, it's, you don't get to, you, you're not playing Magic. You're playing a different card game at that point. I don't know. Like, I think Loam's a fine card. Loam is, like, the one card, but I'm fine with Loam going away to just remove the degeneracy of the mechanic. Yeah. I, th I feel like, one, Ren and Six is, like, an interesting replacement for Loam. Yep. And I think there are other ways that you could make a loam card that would be interesting. Like, maybe you make something that, like, returns a land or two, but then has the, like, something similar to, like, Punishing Fire. So, like, it can interact with, like, I don't know, you lose a life and you can pay mana to return it from the yard or something like that. Okay. Just, like, a non-dredge mechanic to for a loam card. Ooh. Hmm. This hand's actually... Very interesting. It's close, right? It is really close. If we draw either Wheel of Fate or... Um, like, I think we do keep this because we have a kill condition. Mm -hmm. We have some. We have a Lotus Bloom that we can put into play off the Electro Dominance uh, to produce a pile of extra mana. And we have Backup Dominance mm -hmm. to cast one of our uh, card adventure spells. And then oh. we have 
the mana to cast a pile of different cantrips that are in the deck and things like that. So I, I think this is a keepable hand. Now, are we suspending the Lotus right away? Or are we waiting until a turn and playing the Dominance? Hmm. I think we want to uh, put in the play on turn two off Dominance, seeing as our opponent is on Tron. Going to turn, was it four? Yeah, we had turn four. And they're on no, the play. they're not on Tron. Misty Rainforest. They're not on Tron. What? That's an unfortunate draw. Um, we only have 17 lands, so Scalding Tarn fetching a land is probably the correct play to... Okay. Just so we're down to 12 lands in the deck. Not suspending anything, just passing it over. I don't think we suspend anything. Okay. I, I am absolutely okay with there being graveyard decks. There should be graveyard decks. The graveyard is another zone that sh is very worthwhile to be there. I think we should interact with it more on a level that like Snapcaster and Bedlam Reveler do, and flashback spells. Or Phoenix. I think... I personally don't have an issue with Phoenix. I think Phoenix is... A, I think but Phoenix, I think exactly Phoenix good. has the potential to be too good. Okay, now now we're cooking with some stew. Um, hmm. How do we how do we go about this? This is this is kind of an interesting question. Like, do we wait until we can aria of flame? I think so. Yeah, I I, I think I agree. There, we're that. not getting pressured by anything right now, so there's no reason not to just take the full advantage of the aria. Yeah. And now, the other get... question is that Lotus Bloom doesn't trigger. The Aria of Flame, so do we Electro... I think we might Electro Dominance this turn, put the Lotus Bloom in play. I can do it in... Uh, I can do it at... Oh, yeah, at their, at their I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it when they crack their finish. Or on their end of their turn. I'm not going to do it on sure. their turn, though. I'll probably just do it at the end of their turn. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah, it's... I'm totally cool with there being graveyard decks. Same here. I think it's an interesting resource to use... But being completely and utterly based around the graveyard is very frustrating to play with when you're mm -hmm. playing like more fair magic. Yeah, and that, and that's and that's a big thing, right? Like, does Wizard want Modern to be more quote unquote fair magic? Do they want that rock 'em sock 'em back and forth business going on? Because if they don't, I don't know what we're going against here. Oh, did we queue into Standard two years ago? This is so interesting. We're going against the energy deck. Okay. Interesting. Huh. I just target anything. Yeah, target anything. Two. I do like the backup of Electro Dominance just being an X spell that burns. Mm -hmm. Like it, it helps you finish off opponents sometimes. Like if a game goes long enough. You really want to sell? What, or like, what part of modern are we ranting about? There's a lot of them, big monkey. And I mean, honestly, as long as you're not getting, you know, toxic and shit, I'm sure he doesn't mind you, mind you going off on there. Crack Lotus, Cast Aria, Electro Dominance, Ancestral Vision. Yep. Um, no reason to actually. Yeah, we can we can wait on that because if we draw an opt, we'd rather have the uh, island in play instead. Yeah, hog is so like the to play the little bit of devil's advocate on the hog. Like, I actually think hogs a great card. Like on paper, before mm -hmm. anything else. <laughs> so it's mm -hmm. really weird because like. Uh, this creature that can only be cast using Convoke or Delve, um, you know, there's all these restrictions to it, and I'm like, that's that's kind of really cool. And then, you know, obviously everything else that's molds around it uh, lets you cast it really efficiently, really fast, um, causes a whole bunch of problems. I don't think... Uh, Vengevine deserves a ban, though. Yeah, I actually, like... I find that Vengevine's... 
the vines are fine. Like they're they're powerful and you miss some like high rolly draws, but yeah, I don't like, know. I think it's... and I and I don't think Vine is the correct ban either. Like if you're banning Venge Vine because there's an eight eight trampler in play that's beating people in, like that's probably not right. Because before Hogak existed, there was that Bridge Vine deck, and nobody played it. Right? That that deck absolutely existed. I guess it was before Carrion Feeder, though, and that's a big deal. Yeah, Carrion Feeder is pretty huge. Even if Hog gets banned, I still think that deck is going to exist in one way, shape, or another. They just need a different payoff. I don't know if it does. I mean, like, I think Carrion Feeder is just better service than some other lists and things like that. There's like, You don't think that the Hogvine shell ex continues to exist without Hog? I really don't. Like, a lot of those 1-1s one just don't do anything. Okay. And, like, it, it's so, like, when you can literally just anger of the gods them away, mm -hmm. I think mean, it's pretty brutal. Oh, my. Um... See, okay, so cute thing we can do here. You can finale, so playing land, finale of promise for two, uh, hitting both our ancestral vision as sorcery and electro dominance as instant to and recast one of the two things in our hand. It's really cute. Okay, so. Honestly, I think off the electro dominance from the yard that we'll be casting, uh, Lotus Bloom would be the better bet because we're going to draw three off the ancestral visions in the yard, mm -hmm. and it will allow us to get more mana. So we hit something else, and then we can uh, play more things. Okay, so that's our instant. That's our sorcery. And we're paying four for this. Mm -hmm. Two. All right, I yeah, shoot them. Because I don't think these keystrokes really matter, do they? No, not really. It's, all it is is just pressure on our life total. Um, I think, actually, Kang Day, uh, the recurring 8-8 uh, forces people to have to play Path to Exile and pushes out decks that want to use Fatal Push and Lightning Bolt as removal spells, whereas uh, all three of those work on the 4-3s. Um, and Hogak is a recurring threat as well. That's the biggest part about the card. You can cast it from the graveyard. Um, and it has Trample. Like, I would much rather play against Venge Vines every day of the week than Hogak. Oh, man, we can cast an As Foretold here. And then cast the Visions. Yeah, seems pretty sweet. <laughs> By the way, what is going on? How are we... I mean, I guess our opponent's on just, like, energy nonsense, but, like... I can activate those. Oh, I think you have to click those. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. MTGO being MTGO. This one really makes me think that I should. And we're done here. Mm hmm And they're dead on our turn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but that that's sort of my my look on the Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. What are you what are you wheeling into? That's you all coming it. part of the hinges. Are you getting Emerkle? Don't do it. Do you get an Emerkle? Through the breach, okay. Emerkle. Oh no. And we die. <laughs> <laughs> we were so close! This was What? We were so close. All right, I don't think anything helps. I don't know if these surgicals are worth it though. Should we just be bringing in crashing wood, uh, footfalls just for extra threats? Um, or should we bring in the abrades to possibly have the chance of blowing up that in, the, in a weird instance where they cast it, they don't have the energy to activate it. That's fair. That they, and they can whiff on it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I don't know, like, if the hasty 4-3s were a problem beforehand, there would have been a deck that used it, right? Like, not a single deck that was relevant in modern played it. Honestly, I feel like, um, this hand's weird. Suspend Lotus Bloom and Visions? Pass? That seems bad. Hmm. But. It does have Narset on 3, which can find... And things. 
Yeah. I, I mean, is, honestly, I have no idea what we should be keeping out of these hands. To be fair, I as think well. this is fine to keep. This is the this is the maiden run of this ship, so let's let's keep some hands. We brought we have the card we brought in. You mm -hmm. know, we have all the spells we want to cast. We just have to wait, find a way to put them into play. All right, and you know, Narset does that, right? What a dumb mechanic. What? NRG. Yeah, it was. I think the mechanic was interesting, adding an additional resource wow. into the game. It was just... Well, they made such a big deal about mana floating between phases, and then they give you mana floating between phases. I don't understand it. They, I think... Sorry, turn it over. Um... Also, if we can get an set into play and then Wheel of Fate. Oh we'll, my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. But, um, I, like, I think energy as a mechanic is is fine. I think the ways they came up with to use it are not fine. Like, Aetherworks Marvel was just not an okay card. But it's so expensive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Well, oh. Did you want to? Did you want to hold and just see if we hit anything? I didn't think we were hitting anything relevant off of uh, two mana. Metamorphose double red and then like you're probably correct. Yeah, yeah I felt know. like that anything that we hit, we wouldn't want to do it anyway. We'd want to wait until the next turn where we'd have it on three. Um, and three, there's a lot of payoffs there. Um, and even better if we can. We do could metamorphose blue blue hit Simeon Spear guy in our set. <laughs> Do we want an extra land here? Because if we do, we're not cracking that turn. Oh, have an extra land in the deck to draw? Yeah, drawing three would be kind of nice. Ideal, right? Yeah, I, I think it's a pretty good certainty that we'll see something from Hogak get banned. Um, the conversion rate was just too high. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do we care for blue or red more, or do we not care? I don't want to go to. Do we care about like gold? We do because I don't. Oh, want to... 15, yeah. yeah. Um, because it's either blue or red here. Probably we're mm, red. I'm just running out of Mars up. Yeah. Try to find a way to cast these this wheel of fate. If you want to hear like my giant ban list of cards that I think would be really healthy for the format, like I am a big believer in getting like okay, so like Hogak should be banned, right? That's let's just get rid of that. Uh, I think Ancient Stirring should probably be banned. This is in no particular order, by the way. Um, I think Ancient Stirring should be banned. I think uh, Faithless Saluting should be banned. I do think Manamorpho should be banned. I think the Tron Lands should be banned. I think Simeon Spirit Guide, Mox Opal should be banned. My my reason for it is though is like all the, like I have never played against a Simeon Spirit Guide and felt good about it, right? Not in my life have I played against Simeon Spirit Guide where my opponent went like I'm gonna exile all these cards and I didn't result in me like dying. Yeah. Boy, I hope we kill them this turn. Are these things even coming off suspend? Lotus Bloom this. And as this is like oh! this is like me as the Tron player. Oh my! Oh my! This Lord. is happening, huh? Okay, so we can. Uh, we should Aria first, right? Yeah, Lotus Bloom to put Aria into play. Dominance for zero. Um, should we Narset first? I, th I think we want to go Metamorphose, adding yeah. double red. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. that change anything? We still want to just Wheel of Fate, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have one next turn, so... Okay. So this... Boom. I was hoping we'd hit a Simeon Spear Guide and we could do Dominance for two on the Road Refinery. 
I mean, making them discard their whole hand and drawing a new seven card seems pretty good, too. So we're going to kill the rogue here, right? Like, I should have shot that for two there. We didn't have two mana. No, that can only hit players. Oh, okay. I thought that it could hit creatures before, and I thought it was, like, really busted, but... No, no, Wheel of Fate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess they'll draw a card. <laughs> they get to draw one card for the turn because of Narsa. And they're discarding their whole hand. They just concede. Oh, they just concede! Yay! We did it! Narsa is busted here. Yeah, it's like it's, everything we want. So, like, I love Narsa in this deck because she uh, breaks the symmetry of um, Wheel of Fate in a very busted way. And she finds literally every card in our deck that we care about. Oh, we need more mana? Got it. Yeah, more mana. We Like, we need a way to cast the cards? Find them. We need a, a card to be cast? We can find it with Narset. We need our kill condition? Find it with Narset. Like, she's really good at this deck. Like, I, I don't know. I, uh, I love the card. But, um, I don't know. I think this is probably fine. I already clicked some of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think there's any changes we're making on the player on the draw. Like, nothing in the sideboard stands out to me as a card that we need, one or the other. That's unfortunate. No, this hand doesn't have lands, so... Bye-bye. Yeah, so one thing that, um... This hand actually could be fine. What are we shipping? A land? Yeah, land. Specifically the Spire Bluff? Mm. Or do you want to ship the Islet? Or do you want yeah, to ship let's the do the Islet. I let. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, here we're going to see, like, uh, one of the things that, like, I love Thousand Year Storm. Uh, unfortunately, the card isn't really that great. Um, it should be something, uh, the, the card Hazard's Undying Fury, which is a uh, two red, four generic sorcery that, um, exiles the top five, and you may cast them without paying their mana costs, mm -hmm. which allows you to hit literally every card in your deck and allows you to cast free spells and stack them in any order. So if you hit, like, Visions plus the Wheel card, you can do the Wheel Resolve first, draw the, like, discard, draw seven, then draw three. Oh, that's rude. God bless the Sabraid. Um, I think we, yeah, we keep that because we get to, as for told, put it into play, and that mm -hmm. allows us to ramp into Thousand Year Storm. This opponent over here trying to ruin our fun. Hmm. The second thousand year storm. We. Hmm? Um, I'm gonna braid on their turn. I'm just afraid of a counter spell for something. I don't know. They'll probably play a three drop here. Mm. Well, we're doing it. Yeah, you know, T. Please, please don't, opponent. I would be blown away if they play a counter. Okay. All right. Great. They don't seem like the kind of deck, but I've been, <laughs> I've been very wrong before. All right, we're we're so close to doing something with Thousand Year Storm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have. So every time I cast an instant sorcery, copy it for each other instant sorcery you cast before it this turn. It's just for us, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just us. What's up, young squeezy? Thanks for the follow, man. Much appreciated. I see this guy likes this. Wow, this guy is rude. No, well, we're just basically casting Thousand Year Storm here. If we get a land, we get to cast the Lotus Bloom as well. Yeah. More time counters. Yeah. Right. Red's more important. Uh, yeah, for this. The two islands are just there to play around, float around. Like I already said that. Okay. Um. What kind of pile is this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really crappy that we drew the second Thousand Year Storm. And I kind of wish this Lotus Bloom was something else. But, like a spell. Like, I wish we had two more spells in hand instead of Lotus Bloom and Thousand Year Storm. Right. 
You really only need... I mean, the Thousand Year Storms do stack. Um, hey, I'll just start a streaming MTG. I'm wondering if we have to use MTGO to stream magic. Can we use something like Untap instead? I'm not familiar with Untap. Is that one of the free programs? I would assume it is. Like, I... I feel like you can stream under the Magic the Gathering um, mm -hmm. thing, the the umbrella, because they have both Empty Joe and Arena yeah. under that umbrella. So I feel like as long as it's like, I don't know. I mean, you can stream really whatever you want, I think, as That's long as it doesn't break Twitch TOS. So I guess we're just running this out. Yeah, I would agree with that. As we're told. Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to have a problem streaming it. It's just going to be a problem if, if your viewers are going to have an issue with um, have an issue with the fact that if you're not on. Yeah, like a lot of people will like probably just sort of be like, why aren't you playing on this? Like you'll, you'll have to answer the question why you aren't on Arena or MTGO a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And some people will be pushed away by it, and you have to be okay with that. Yep. Gosh darn it, opponent, could you not? We might not be dead, though. That's not something we're dead to. Hmm. I feel like we have to sack our four lands. Do we sack the four lands? I mean, do we really even need them at this point? I don't think we do. Yeah, I'll just sack four lands. Buy lands. Peace out. We don't need those. We have the prophecy as it has been foretold. And a sweet flower. This guy's for sure through the breaching again next turn. You just straight kill us. See me spear got one. I can cast it for free. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Three two two. I got nothing else. I could really use like a chain of Vanamorphosis or something. Here. A wheel of fate. A ancestral wheel of fate visions. Wonderful. Hopped Manamorphos. There's a lot of card draw in this deck. Narset. We can put that in play. Okay, so. I, I don't want all things busted ban. I want the things that make it so you don't play magic ban. Um, as far as my statement, uh, like like your statement regarding does modern need unfair cards, define what your thoughts are on these unfair cards, right? So it's if it's unfair because it's a very strong card in high quality, that's probably fine. If it's unfair and just winning the game and we don't play games of magic, that's probably not fine, for me at least. Um, in the be beginnings of Modern, we were really, like George has said earlier, we were really aggressive on knocking out these bands because they're like, hey, this is too strong, winning too fast, we can't have this. And that was fantastic. A deck did too well in one tournament and it could have meant that and it does it again and again, boom, it's banned. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so I have with John. Yeah. And now you don't have that. Right, Kane Dave? Come on, deck. A uh, big limiting factor for me is cost of MTGO. I own my interior deck on paper, but the prospect of rebuying it, you, it is. It is a big turnoff. The, even with the price being a fraction of it is on paper, it does yeah. suck. I ended up going to um, mm. using Mana Traders um, because of it. Mana Traders, if you're out there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and I don't want... The thing is, I don't want all these bannings that happen at the same time either is the thing. Um I definitely think I could I could be wrong on some of these cards. Maybe some of them don't need to be banned. Mox Opal probably is fine. Um, even though it's a free mana, you have to work around it. Um, Ancient Starrings is a card that's only going to get worse with time. Faithless Looting, we've, we're seeing how strong that card is the more it goes. Hit nothing! No. Well, he's not killing us this turn. Yeah, but he's blowing up one of our things. I don't feel safe with the whole passport driver's license thing. <laughs> right, Kane Day? Oh, he's just hitting our mana. What? We this have a is... shot. We have a shot. Draw spell. Draw spell. 
I don't care. I'll take the two. Yeah. It's irrelevant. Draw spell. Oh, the best draw spell. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, mm. about how they acquire it. So, like, I'm okay with that. I'll use the one that's on three. Like, for me, at least, I... Oh, he had nothing with a mug in hand. All right. The issue is that stupid damping sphere. He drew the second one, which is really brutal for us. We can play a land this turn. Um, yeah, I guess I don't really mind about my driver's license being out there because my driver's license is already out there for a lot of things, for the most part. So, I think we lost. Yeah, I think we needed to hit the other braid. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't hit anything to let us chain either. Well, we have Lotus Bloom. Well, we have Finale of Promise. Like, that would allow us to chain. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that the, the Dampening Spear is in there. And this puts a copy on the stack? Yeah. Like, if the Damping Spear wasn't there, he just dies. Because <laughs> um, we'd be able to go... Manamorphose is a regular cast. Mm -hmm. Put the Lotus Bloom into play, Finale, chain all of that back. Yep. And then the Finale... Cast though, so you'd be like cast an alley trigger, and then it like starts counting, and it's just it goes, goes ham. This metamorphosis gives us two mana, right? Yeah. So we could cast it for free, we use the mana, and generate. Um, well, every time we cast a spell, it costs one more. So the metamorphosis currently costs three. Yeah. Well, it'll cost the. It'll cost the Asver told on five. Oh, for and two. And then use the one. For the extra, right? Or oh, so. yeah. And then then we would finale? Cause we're but gonna... then finale would cost four. Yeah. Yeah, it, we just died to but we But Metamorphos will give us four mana because of this. Oh, right. So I think we do this. Cast okay. it, right? Yeah. So we cast this. We have to pay the one extra. For getting the card that's on the balcony. Getting the trick points. <laughs> And we want just all red. Um, or do you want blue as well? Like a blue. I don't think it really matters. We actually can cast that metamorphose and it gives us six mana. Okay, so we go land here. Mm hmm. And we're gonna go metamorphose using all the mana. The problem is, Kane Day, is that you have to cast the cards off of Finale of Promise. Um, so, like, so casting them, which the Damping Sphere does interact with. And so, uh, it, it makes it very hard <laughs> to be able to do anything. We drew another Mana Morphos. Um, and we're gaining mana? Technically. What's the... It's on three, three so it costs six. And we're so, not gaining one. So we could play this. Like, we'd love to get Arya in play, but I don't think we can. No, no. We play the Manamorphos again. Then we finale. Get both of them. Chain them all. Have tons of mana. And yeah. then go for the... I don't know what we're going to kill them with, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I mean, like, legitimately, like, we, um... We can, like, Wheel of Fate to churn through a bunch of their deck and then, uh, kill them with, like, a... Ancestral? Yeah. So we're going to go Manamorphos here. Have one extra. Ideally, we find the second braid here somewhere instead of more of these non spells. Well, the braid we can just cast with finale. Oh, that's right. Right? Spirit Guide's an extra mana. Yeah. So four, so that's six plus two, so we have to do it for eight. 
And then we have to have the mana to be able to... Ca oh, that's right. The mana off of the cast of the Finale of Promise stops yeah. us. Because we have to pay an extra four. So we have nine, ten. That's plenty. We need twelve to cast even one. No, no, no. We're going to be... So... We're going to make it so it resolves the mana morphos first. Okay, well, yeah. Right? Let's, so, uh, let's find out. <laughs> so we'll do mana morphos, and that's the only sorcery. Mm -hmm. So we want that anyway, right? Yep. Uh, we're going to exile this because we're going to lose our hand. Yep. And then X can't be less than 2. No. no, I'm on four already. Yeah. So that's two. Mm -hmm. Done. And we get more triggers of it. Yeah, Jesus. So you may have changed the target. So we do want to change the target. Right? Uh. I think this is the original. This is the original. Yeah, that's the original. You may change the target. So, okay, change it. Oh, I have to actually just click it. This is weird. I feel like I'm losing because of the... I don't know how this is working. Yeah, this is a weird interface. Uh, click the upright up there if we can actually cast that thing. Okay, so see if this works. I feel like that just messed up. but Without paying that cost. Yeah, see, we have to pay an extra five now for this. Okay, because of this all being on there. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's because, yeah, because we actually have to, like, cast the spells and things like that, yeah. Yeah, because that was the extra four, then the extra five. So we were two mana off? Yeah, there is another copy in the deck, King Day. We were okay. just trying to find it, and we, we weren't able to get there. Okay. We weren't far off. We, we came surprisingly co close there with a Damping Sphere on the board. And, like, to be fair, the opponent had to, like, Hit the second damping sphere. He had to hit second damping sphere and have the combo that he did. Like, he had to have the um, Breach plus the Ulamog. And then he also had to hit again on his um, his Aetherworks Marvel. They almost so, always hit off that. They have, so, they have such a threat in that deck, right? It's I like, mean, it's like the eight, eight not, ten hits. actually, it's not that threat dense. No? No, so like the thing, the reason they put it play through the breach is because if you've drawn one, it makes through the breach another hit. Okay. Um. So like the deck actually like whiffs a surprising a amount with like not like a lot, but like it's not. It's like a like a twenty percent, I think. Sometimes I forget. I mean, there's a hypergeometric calculator. If someone wants to punch in the numbers, but. Um. Hmm. This deck's so weird, I just have no idea what you can keep and not keep. I feel like this hand might get there. I mean, it has something... Well, Finale of Promise only casts from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think this hand might be a ship. Okay. Because, like, the two... This is fine. Yeah, I mean, turn two and ask for totally. Yeah, exactly, and then mm -hmm. throw out Lotus Bloom, mm -hmm. and then go from there. Yep. Uh, what do we put back? Yeah, if we would have hit a braid off of those uh, multiple mana morphs, we would have won. Yeah, off of the like eight extra cards we drew that game. Or that turn, rather. We gotta ship the op, though, right? Mm. Maybe the mana morphos. Let's do the mana morphos, because I want to dig a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Do I like Jeskai Sahili? I like the idea of Jeskai Sahili. Um, mainly because I love the idea of like a combo deck that can like forge itself. Um, probably good with the Tarn and passing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the idea of these like decks that are, you know, in that same idea of Splinter Twin, right? Where it was, you know, controlling, interacting. This might be bad. Oh, not bad. We like now. Crypt Vile. Do we op now? Yeah. Tell them goblins. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so I like that idea of that deck, but the, my issue with uh, the Sahili deck is that it's two sorcery speed combo pieces, which is really awkward. Yeah. Bottom. I agree with that. Bloom. Mm -hmm. Plenty of mana. <laughs> Plenty of mana. Okay. I right, read black interact with this enchantment. Get them. <laughs> it is kind of weird that you have to click on the cards in hand and not the as for told in play. They can't interact with us. They have that one goblin that can blow up an artifact. They can get rid of a lotus bloom that way. I don't think they have anything in main deck for enchantments though. Black red just doesn't have anything for enchantments, period. Did you can't something? even eat e it. Their interaction is murdering us. It's pretty good interaction because we're dead. <laughs> Boy, he's he's popping off. He's popping off. That's the extent of his raging pop -off. goblin. Well, I mean, we have a lot of mana. We just need a payoff. <laughs> we, we might be able to just fireball them. <laughs> <laughs> we need them to hurt themselves a little bit more. Yeah. We only have 11 mana, so we only fireball them for 9. Hmm. Oh man, I remember when Mog Fanatic was like, the best one drop. Oh my lord, damage on the stack, sacrifice. Ooh. It's not good. Oh. You're not dead. You're just not very alive either. Luckily, they're down to one card. You take 10, you get a 6. Hmm. Alright, Daddy Come needs to draw a spell. Payoff. <laughs> uh, okay. So like we can stay alive by like killing this. I just don't know if we're actually alive from that. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. Well, we might cast this lotus boom, right? Yeah. We'll shoot this for one on their turn. Sure. <sighs> if they activate the vial, we, we're dead. Because <laughs> that means they have a lord and we're dead. Unless it's the hasty lord. Sure. No, the hasty lord would die too. Yeah, we're dead. Man. So we get to bring the wooded footfalls into this, right? Yeah. Can't beat four fours, right? Right. So that's probably all worthwhile. Is the Chandra worthwhile to wipe the board? I mean, it might be. So we could, like, board in, like, all of this with the Goblin Dark Colors and such and board out, like... Like, uh, board all of this in? Yeah. Yeah. And we board out, like, uh, yeah, Surgicals, um, Thousand Year Storm, um... Aria Flame. Like we're, we're legit just murdering them with four fours. Um, Is the Narset Wheel of Fate yeah. combo? Yeah, I think we cut the Narset Wheel of Fates. We can bring one card back. Uh, one Wheel of Fate, why not? Just to get some. If we have no Narset, that doesn't seem worth it. Let's just draw seven sometimes, right? They draw seven too. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd rather have the Narset. Or the one Aria. We might still kill him with the Aria. That's fair. We should probably put the Aria back in. We'll do it. Ugh. I just like the idea of Goblin Dark Mills just being this like big value dude. You're playing Goblins? 
Well, that, come on. This doesn't do anything, right? Um, not really, no. <laughs> this can do stuff. It can. The ops can maybe dig us into, uh, as we're told, or electrodominance. Ship one vision? Yeah, yeah. And then are we just suspending it right away? Mm, no, I think we want to use the ops to try to dig to um, as we're told or the other. Okay. Are we just getting an island with this turn? Or is that too risky? Um, I think an island is probably fine. So it made you pick opt over serum visions here. So an instant. We already have sorceries to hit with finale promise. We just needed instants for it. Okay. Uh -huh. That's literally up. He <laughs> cast it for zero. That's rude. Yeah. Good thing we have a braid. Yeah, two. Oh, come on, deck. Bottom. Yeah. I wanted that card, too. Mm hmm. On the plus side, he only has three cards in him. Did he like mole all the way to zeros? It's weird. I'm trying to find a lane. It's not even bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Too bad our vision gets countered. Mm hmm. Pile driver. It can't be countered. Hmm. It's got this protection from blue business too. Woo! That's pretty good. Alright, so as we're told this turn, mm -hmm. and then we'll break next turn and go off. Yep. Grabbing a mountain. Yep. On this deck to win a match. I've already won the game. Came close to winning two games. We should have won that other one. Yeah, we probably should have. Mm -mm -mm. Matron's such a dope card. That's pretty cool. The amount of times that I've been hit with the freaking was it Warren Instigator, and they catch <laughs> up, or they have a mage put it in play and get exactly mm -hmm. what they want. I'm just like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, Great. quality magic. All right, so braid. Yep. Blow that up. Draw ourselves a nice three cards. Let's do. It's pretty good. Um. We don't really want to use it yet, I don't think. I feel like we're better off doing it next turn. After yeah. this, we have a bunch of 4-4s, four and then we have more yeah. cards to reload. Like, hopefully we hit, like... Hopefully we don't die next turn, but... Hopefully we hit land so we can, like... Cast Foot Falls. Dark to always cast Foot Falls, so we put, like... Five 4-4s four into play. Can Finale not cast Foot Falls? It can. But, I mean, I'd rather just have another 4-4 four four in play. Okay. Like I don't like if we don't draw land, uh, that kills us, doesn't it? Mm, Two, four, no. six, eight plus three is exactly eleven. Oh yeah, because of this. Yeah. God bless you, goblins. Oh wow, well, that's more than I. Thought. You know what? This one, uh, dark dwellers, is super important because tokens can't uh, block them oh. if this is activated. Man, this guy had a... Goblins has our number. What in the world? I feel like... That dude molded to, like, Oblivion for a freaking chalice on zero to get us. And he got us. Mold to six. Five? We were on... He was on the draw. Oh, yeah. So five. I mean, it's reasonable. If you can, if you have a card like Chalice on your side. That blows me away, by the way, if they're playing Chalice. Like... Oh, I, like... <laughs> well, I think, like... It's probably the um, idea that you 
you go Vial on one, and then you can Vial in your one drops, and then Chalice for your yeah, one on two. One. I, I blew a guy's mind on Saturday, because uh, he mulled properly, and then, uh, have a good night. Um... Mold properly and then did not expect the chalice on one. Played the faithless looting pass to me, pitching the the, the artifact destruction, thinking he didn't, didn't think he would need it. And then I went chalice on one. He goes, That's standard in your deck. I go, It is for me. <laughs> Got him. Oh my gosh. He's like, Go. And I'm like, Ramp, go. He's like, Go. <laughs> Because the rest of his hands are stitchers that he drew and like more lootings, mm -hmm. but he only had one mana. And then by the time he got to three, I was at six and hour. No, he was at two, and I was at six with Titan. Gross. Good. Yeah. This is the kind of hands we want. Yeah, we, we pretty much always need dominance or an for delivery. Right? Yeah, I think that's what the deck needs from uh, its openers. We can put together the rest at some later point. It's kind of Inquisition take dominance. It's fucking... <laughs> Why do you have to call it out? Because <laughs> I play a lot of mono. Yeah, I know. It's just sort of like they, they're like expensive lands, crack, fetch, tap, and you're like, all right, here comes the John deck. Yeah. Like reasonable. Get them. <gasps> Boy, this guy <laughs> got you, opponent. You know what? You can't make me discard. Top of my deck. <laughs> that mono bug. It's on a new level. Sure. We just opt here, right? There's no mm -hmm. reason not to. I'm trying to think of like the areas that like we want to keep like an aria flame or something. We don't need this. Do we? Thinking if we need the extra man at all. I don't think we do. No. Got it anyway. I wish that was would have been in our opener. I would have like snapped off like trying to like just dominance on one mm -hmm. to wheel of fate and make him. So um, we just draw three here. I feel like we do just draw three here. Opponent. Ha ha. Okay. Alright, alright. We need to pay off and we're good. I mean, uh, another dominance or another Asphatol or something along those lines. Although Narsa is probably not living the turn we cast. I'm, on, I'm trying to like see if we can go through what we can draw to be able to do her. Like, if we draw. The ideal would be um, as foretold as a draw. Because mm -hmm. then we can play as foretold, put Lotus Bloom into play. And then the next turn we can go uh, Narset, like try to get everything out of our hand, and then. Alright, that's not bad. Yeah, I kind of like getting it down. Should we suspend and just put a Steam Vents into play? Or is that. No, the one life's not worth We just go Fiery. Yeah. At 15 life opponent. Whew. He's getting aggressive. <laughs> he wants us dead. He knows. <laughs> well, that's rude if we draw this finale, I promise. Sure would be. Hmm. Um. Kind of want to just spin our wheels with this main morphos. Yeah. See what we draw. Red, red? Um, we knew blue, red. Oh, my lord, of course we draw the finale. I wonder if we try to, like. You can only hit one. Yeah, but I mean, like, they have all this stuff. I was 
kind of wish that we could force them to crack that spell bomb. Hmm. Do we have access to five mana right now? Four, right? Oh, right, we can play land. Yeah, yep. So five mana. Um Does could... it just start with Narset, dig, see if we can find a dominance to Wheel of Fate? That seems fair. Like, that seems like the correct line, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's just doing it now. Alright. Cool. Where's that four card? Fine. Well, it's not fine. Now we can't shock ourselves. That's but we're fine. not dead on our turn either, though. Yeah. I mean, there's an Electro Dominance. Tap, land, go. Otherwise, we're dead. Yeah. And he has to swing the goyf at uh, at uh, Narsa if he mm -hmm. wants to kill it. Okay, command. It's gate command. We're dead. Yeah. I mean, he has to realize. <laughs> Pulse. I'm the Narsa. We're dead. No, we're at one. Yeah, we're not dead at all. Turns off our fiery eyelet for mana, but okay. Um. Hmm. Suspend Simeon Spirit Guide. Dominance Wheel of Fate. That seems fine to me. Oops. Glad they just an auto tap. <laughs> oh my lord, yeah, auto tap around arena can sometimes be a miserable experience. It's definitely screwed me out of a couple games. It loves to tap lanes that have abilities. Uh huh. And it loves to tap my force when I have uh, a Nissa. It's kind of a shame that we're just getting two prime finale I promises, know. but we have. I mean, we just have to do this. Okay. Hmm. I mean. If we dominate, it's another wheel of fate. Like, I don't think we're doing anything, but I feel like that's what we're doing. So we can hit Simeon's spirit guides. Gosh, yeah, that... If we had more life total to work with, this would be so easy. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. So this is the only line we have, right? Yeah. Nice to hit a basic because that'd give us more lands. Mm -hmm. not. Hmm. Yeah, basic. Um, unfortunately, we had one more life, or two, a couple more life. Mana Morphos into Op Win game. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get that, though. Oh, we're always just so close. Alright. I don't think there's anything in the side that stands out to me. Should we just be making four fours in this matchup? I, that that was kind of the idea. And the dark dwellers too. Yeah, like dark dwellers, four fours, Chandra's. Yeah, my Chandra's as well. Mm -hmm. I thought they were a little slow here. That's fair. It's fair. A thousand years. Yeah, people the cards probably come out. Yeah, I've got four more cards. If we cut out the thousand year storms, like we can probably cut out like a couple lotus blooms. 
and then like um, she has to be bringing in hate cards for Aria for me. Like maybe cut one Aria and one Wheel of Fate? Or is that too much at that point? Hmm. Cut a Simeon. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah. I want you to know, for 0 and 3, I might go to bed. <laughs> I mean, that's perfectly fine, man. This is, this is like 12 in the morning, and it's going to be Monday. I'm keeping it. Oh, we're keeping this bad boy. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can I suspend one to Visions? Um, well, I almost want to like opt to try to make sure we hit that second land. That's fair. But after that, if, like, you know, if we don't hit. Then... Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> now the, the question is: Do we make four fours, or draw three cards? Draw three. Just so we can. No, we'll make four fours. Yeah, we make. Four. Let's see if they're making the yeah. decision for us. <laughs> we might. We might, not, we might, not, we might doing, not have four fours in hand. We might not be doing anything. Our <laughs> <laughs> further out of time. Um, I think we suspend one visions. Why not both? Okay. These. I, I feel like these are what we're casting. That's fair. Like, if he has a bunch of interaction and not a quick clock, we can just sort of, like... I'm getting steam vents in case we draw electro dominance. Yes. I'm on the grind him out plan now. Yeah, cast some more discard spells. Oh, that's not a goif. I see you have fallen for the uh, classic junt trap. Getting that down before those things come off suspend would be sweet. I know, we need one lamb. We actually just kind of want to hit some lands as a... Yeah, really? Mm. Uh -oh. Are we discarding the Aria? Or the Dark Dwellers? Dark Dwellers just seems really far away from mana. Mm -hmm. To build castles. I feel like Dark Dwellers. Yeah, let's pitch that one first. Hit me, dealer. Huh. This is a tragedy right now. The deck construction might not be optimal. No. no. <laughs> it's the first iteration. Okay. Discard another one of these. Opponent. This opponent has to just be going like, what in God's name am I playing against? He's over there with his like freaking Zendikar expeditions. He's like... You know, got his lilies and just what? <laughs> Deck, please, we just come on. Need a little I, I feel like we discard Aria here, though. Yes. Because then, if we draw, we want to get the Narset in play. It's a really sad price. He might just toss it into some more lands. Although we're drawing this turn, right? I believe we're drawing both. Oh, six cards. Here we go. Could could we not deck? <laughs> what in the world? I know this was I man one. We hit one. Um, mm. do we like opt, or do we want to lead on Manamorphos? Like Manamorphos add blue red. I was just gonna nurse it and not do anything. I want to try to get a crashing footfalls cast this turn. Okay. So. You want to crack this, opt, then Manamorphose, Manamorphose? I think we Manamorphose first. Okay. Because that is mana neutral to do that, whereas opt costs a mana. So this way, if we hit a, um, as foretold, we can cast it still. And we want blue-red. Yep. Ding. You're professional. I think this is irrelevant now, right? Yeah. Sort of whatever. Maybe I should put one light green source in here. Make a four four. Make a four Make four. Make two four four. Make them um, big beefy boys. It's got a Lily Altus. I mean, you can do that. 
He can he can put everything in Ezra told in a pile and No! <laughs> Stop opponent! <laughs> Stop ruining our fun! Sure. sure? What? That seems wrong. How do you not ult there if you're gonna minus us? Okay. I'm so confused. The rip lane so we can dark dwellers, please? Ooh, we can opt on his instep now. Yes. Yeah, he's passing. <laughs> the plane is coming together. The opponent should have just sacked. Oh, baby. I'm going to take the two life now instead of the multiple life later. That's fair. I feel like, well, with five lanes, we kind of want to just draw off that fiery island anyways. Oh, the ley line isn't there. Anymore. Oh my gosh. Uh, Dominus. Can... Like, no, I can Dominus. Oh, yeah, Dom. Yes. Interaction. Dominance for zero. Cast. Target. Ha -ha. Make four fours. <laughs> that was almost bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was almost bad. We almost <laughs> forgot about that ley line being in play. Because I right. still have a graveyard. It's yeah, the weirdest right. thing for me. We're, it's so, we're so used to, like, rest in peace and stuff. Did he go score himself? Yeah. What? He needed the green? <laughs> sure. You gained 12 life. What? I didn't even win. I think he thinks we were just, like, a storm deck. Yeah. I mean, that'd be kind of cute against Aria Flame. You might actually be able to beat an Aria Flame combo turn with, with enough, but... I don't know. <laughs> he screws. He's like, I did not board properly. I mean, to, man, that that didn't go too bad, Legans Jun. That's like ancestral visions, dece. <laughs> yeah, when you're drawing seven in a turn, I'm gonna draw three. I'm gonna draw three. Draw for turn. <laughs> oh, this is real close. I f I feel like it's a keep. Well, I'm keeping it. Yeah, like it can go real bad. We just have to hit land and we're on the draw. Ooh, you ripped this out too. Okay. Bring yeah. it, opponent. And they didn't have a thought to turn one. Well, they played their tap lane first. So now, now they're going to get us. Mm hmm. Bottom. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Uh, we're making four fours, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of the ten four. Make this guy a three four, and we'll put two four fours in the play. I would love to hit a land. That'd be very good. Land would be the strong place. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> I want to play this deck and pay for it uh, tomorrow. Because, yeah, like, look at what we're doing to this poor man. Would you like to swing upon it? <laughs> <laughs> we're just beating this Lord Liliana up, right? Like, he has to, like, chump with the goof or... Or lose it. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're just drawing cards here. Yeah. Alright. No land pass. Alright, if he doesn't rip our hand apart, well, this as for told is gonna be pretty baller. Yeah, right? It's a blood bird. It's a goif. Man, they're four fives down. Kind of annoying. Oh my lord. He baited us. He baited us into putting the planeswalker in the yard to make them four fives. I mean, that is correct. He's a sly dog. Okay. So. As foretold, do we Aria here? No, it's not good enough. 
honestly, I kind of want a finale of Promise. Casting, um, Crashing Footfalls, and Opt. Sure. Gives a finale for zero. No, for, for one. one. Yep. And we have to pick two sorceries, okay. Yeah. Well, sorcery and an instant. So opt is the instant. So I unfortunately don't have the mana to do that. And the footfalls, right? Yep. Yeah, I'd like to deploy Arya this turn, but it's just the boys are just too much. Uh, that actually might be good because we can ask for told next turn. Yeah. And or dominance. Yeah. I feel like we want to get the ask for told into play. It's the more expensive one. Yeah. No, if we can't ask for told, that's the best option. Keeping up. Is that a blood bird? I think it might just be activating ravine, yeah. yeah. Trade here, double block, take eight. Sounds sounds reasonable. Go to five, they have two cards. Unfortunately, I don't think we can crack the fetch land anymore. I don't think so either. I don't think it matters, though. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But... Yeah. So we'll just go get a land, mm -hmm. as we're told, bring out the four fours, and then opt later on. Yep. A triple goif jar. Fascinating. Double block one. Oof. What's he can Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> That's so good for us. If we're not it. dead. I mean, we don't die in either way, but you would have forced a double chump. This yeah, way, we get to really trade bad with for it. us. Yeah. To chump tr trade a rhino for a goif. That's really weird. Yeah. Raven six. Yes. Sure. Diamond Valley. And it's another threat, so that's kind of annoying. And it can get pretty large. Can it? We can get to mm -hmm. a four four. Sure. This guy is real aggressive on the uses of his stuff. More four force. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, so we can play fiery islet, cast aria of flame, and then, and then build dominance. electro dominance. Yeah. Four force. Sucks that we have this draw spell stranded in our hand. And then a brook to Katie. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's better than just being dead, but. Yeah, that abrupt decay was real good. Like, even the suboptimal play with it was good, so. Yeah, because we'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. Now, after the double block to stay alive, if he swings again, we're dead. What are we hoping for? A finale or a as foretold at this point? Yeah. Or a dominance again? 
<laughs> if he swings, then we can double block the Goyf. Yep. And he'd have to invest all his mana to the ooze to keep it all, um, just a trade. Yep. Which is really good for us. Yeah, it gets it off the board so our finale can actually resolve. He's going to swing. I feel like he doesn't. I feel like it's, inc it's correct not to swing. If he swings with just that, we triple block it. Okay. Really weird. If it was just the Goyf, it sort of telegraphs the removal spell, but mm -hmm. both of them is sort of like, yeah, I think he's realizing that his attacks are bad. Oof. That's not good. Now we have to draw something. Uh, fiery Eye, but draw something. Real aggressive. Yeah, the finale of promise. Ah, it's so game. close. It's not game yet, I guess. Is it worth it to get another Ari on play? Um, if we're trading off all these rhinos, possibly. Because it's our only line, right? Yeah. Like we put them to thirty, but like we just need to like chain kill off them faster. Yeah, like it did. The Aria Flames stack exponentially. Yep. Need you not to have anything and pass it to us. That sounds like you have something. That's game. Yep. No, where? No, no he can yeah. eat. Yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll block whatever. Yeah, whichever one we block, he pumps uh, the you other. You know what? Not even going to concede yet? I don't even know. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah who knows? He might, he might miss it. Make them do it. Make the clicks. He did it. Yeah, his like triple goifs pressured us really hard, which forced us to like use our stuff on making rhinos, and then he, he was able to run us out of the ability to cast our draw spells from hand. And we we never had a spot early on where we could have suspended the um the visions. Yeah. So just some awkward sequencing and, yeah. and missing for a while was really unfortunate. I am going to call it there for yes. night, folks. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining for the stream. I will be back next week, Sunday. I, I will try to have a stream this week, um, but my after work schedule is pretty packed. And this is my last week before my exam. So I think these next two weeks will be pretty packed for me. But then after that, I get like two or three weeks where I'm, I'm much more open. So thank you so much again and have a wonderful night.